Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. It is a rainy Wednesday morning in Nashville, Tennessee, and since we cannot do any outdoor video today, we are going inside the rather impressive training facilities of Nashville Electric Service, where along with other training, NES holds annual mandatory manhole and underground vault rescue training with all of its pad mount network and support crews. Today we will see exactly what that training consists of as we go through a scheduled training session with cameras both above and below ground. And we start by checking oxygen levels in the manhole with a gas meter. So basically what we're doing is checking for the oxygen level in the hole, make sure that the atmosphere is good, there's no gases or anything in the hole. The oxygen is 20% in the hole so it's good. Next, we remove the manhole cover, place the gas meter, and prepare the site for the upcoming training drill. See them lowering the mannequin in for rescue. So when we start this, this will be just kind of normal job routine, right? Whoever's in the hole is working. We'll treat it as the man has fell down or, you know, he's made a weird noise or maybe we've smelt something or a flash. We're ready. Jeremy. Here we go. You okay? Jeremy. Smiley, call, nine, uh, call 91. Hey, this is Mike Smiley. I got a code 91 4801 Myatt Drive at the training facility. Okay, Mike, I understand you're at the training facility at 4801 Myatt Drive. You have an unresponsive man. I have the rescue crews on the way. 10 4, thank you. Now, if you noticed, as the emergency was being called in, this crew member went and put on an oxygen tank and gas mask. And now let's go down inside the manhole and see the view from there. First, you see the mannequin in the hole representing the downed crew member. And now we're going to see an oxygen tank be lowered into the manhole from the top. And then we're also going to see the ladder come down and the crew member to rescue come down the ladder. Now the first thing to do is get oxygen to the downed crew member. You hear the breathing of the rescuer and Mike from above say bag the head first, which is what he's doing here. And then the crew member gets out of the manhole because there's no need for him to stay down there in potentially dangerous conditions. They pull the ladder and they pull the downed crew member up by the harness. Go ahead, get up on that. And here we are back above the hole and close to real time. Drag it, lad. Guide him out. Guide him out. All right, let's get him on out of there. Now the requirement is to rescue a downed crew member within three minutes. This took one minute and 35 seconds. And speaking of timing, we're going to fast forward through the setup for the underground vault rescue training, which is next. Here we go. Jeremy, Jeremy, you okay? Smiley, call, call 91. This is Mike Smiley. I'm at 4801 miles. And just as before, if you noticed, one of the crew members goes back and gets an oxygen tank and gas mask before he descends down into the vault. And there's no ladder needed here because the ladder is already built into the side of the vault. And here in fact is that ladder as the crew member on rescue is coming down into the vault. Now you notice the difference between the vault and the manhole is the vault can be so much deeper. I believe this one is 14 feet. First thing he's going to do again is bag the head to get oxygen to the downed crew member. Then he's going to signal to the top so they can hoist the downed crew member back up using that harness again. And here we are back on top again and you can see the extra time and effort it takes to rescue that downed crew member or mannequin from 14 feet versus a 6 or 8 foot manhole depth. 
But as with the manhole rescue that we just witnessed, this entire rescue took just over a minute and a half to complete. And as we close from this state-of-the-art training facility of Nashville Electric Service, you have now seen our TND How video on manhole and underground vault rescue training. Our participating utility was Nashville Electric Service. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.